I'm Fred Foster, creative director and designer for Freebass Clothing and Freebass Merchandise. Freebass is a classic brand, you know, it's a fearless brand and, you know, Future is a fearless artist. So, for them to work together, for them to bridge that gap and, you know, Reebok has always had, you know, the knack for picking the right artists to work with, the right hip-hop artists to work with, the right people to collaborate with. So, you know, they've done collaboration with Chanel. This doesn't get more high fashion than that, you know. Future's brand is expanding, and he was looking for the right man to partner with to expand that brand. And, you know, he feels like Reebok was the best brand, you know. And Reebok offers exactly everything that Future represents, that street classic feel. So we wanted to keep it authentic. We didn't want to have a partnership that was about money, that was about, you know, being cool. We wanted to create our own lane. We wanted to create something cool. Reebok does that. A lot of the clothing have been worn on the tour. So it's been a lot of demand for the clothing. You know, and then we knew that we were going to release these shoes, so we wanted to, you know, just, just start hinting, hinting towards our relationship. You know, putting hints out there that, okay, this relationship is real, Reebok and Freebands, and that's the first way to put it out before we put out the shoes. So everything that you see here, you know, have been on the tour, Future Ward, his team Ward on the tour, so a lot of people were seeing a lot, and uh, people were asking questions about it, so it generated a lot of interest. And to me, it's a no-brainer that Instapump is one of the dopest shoes Reebok has ever made. It's, it's a classic. I don't know, the shoe was made in what, 19, 1994? It's still cool, it's 2016. But um, that's Future's favorite silhouette. So he absolutely wanted to start with an Instapump. He loves the Instapump, he wears the Instapump. So he wanted to do something that he loved. And that's why he picked that shoe. And that's why we started with that. The Instapump is a very dynamic shoe, right? It's, it could be athletic, it could be fashionable, it could be whatever you want it to be. You know, and I think that's why it works great with Future's style because he's one of those artists that can fit in any category. He looks good in a suit, he looks good in sweatpants, you know, he knows how to put it all off. And the Instapump is one of the shoes that he can wear with a lot of the things that he wants to do. So I guess that's why it works so well for him. I'll just say people just need to look out for more things from Future and Reebok. Reebok. I'm Todd Krinsky, uh, head of the Reebok Classics division. I think we were really excited to work with Future. You know, we talked about him for about six to eight months before we actually signed him. And the main reason is because he's creating a distinct sound, he's creating his own lane in fashion, and he's really creating a movement within the hip hop space. And I think this is some type of person we want to work with. When we first met with him, uh, we had this vision that he would wear the Fury because we just knew his style. And the first shoe we picked up was the Fury when we first met with him without even us saying anything. So we knew right away that we had the right guy and it was going to be great. I think the strategy was, first of all, to take advantage of the tour um, that he was going on, and I think it was also a situation where we wanted to create the connection between future free bands and Reebok together. And the easiest, quickest way to do that was to create some great quality apparel, uh, have him really promoted on tour, and then bring a shoe in a few months later, once there was the awareness of the black-white story, there was the awareness around free bands and Reebok, and then bring this overbranded fury into the marketplace. He definitely was really involved. So he came to our building the first time and we were hoping that he had a vision to kind of, you know, wear more of the fashion forward contemporary product and he gravitated right towards that right away. So we were, knew we were in a good space. He's super collaborative. Uh, he really loves the process of fashion. Um, and anytime you get to work with an artist like that, that doesn't just look at the deals and afterthought, but really wants to be involved, usually you get great things out of it. And so far it's been really cool. The name of the game is to take some of your great original models that the consumer may remember, but bring new processes, uh, new modern materials, and making them look new and fresh. Consumers in their closet, they want to have the all-day classic leather, the shoe that they depend on, they can wear every day, but they also want more fashion-forward, modern interpretations of that, but something from an authentic brand. So I think this is a big push for us moving forward, and this is a lot of product the future is actually going to be involved in. Whenever you work with an artist in general, you got to be really thoughtful about how many products you put in the marketplace, how often you do it. Um, I think you've got to keep a little demand. There's going to be a lot of action with Future moving forward. I think it's because he really believes in the brand and he really loves our archive product, but also because he's really into fashion. He's super collaborative. So uh, from now all through 17, you're going to see some pretty cool product coming. So the Instapump Fury um, is one of the most iconic shoes in the industry outside of the U.S., ironically enough. And we felt like Future's style, we felt like the um, 
the whole idea of how he was going to style himself for the tour, we felt that the Fury was the perfect, perfect product for this. You know, it's like, it's one of those shoes, it's laceless, it's got a thicker midsole, it's a different style for American consumers, and we felt like we needed somebody who had tremendous style and takes risks to almost, um, you know, show consumers how to wear it, and I think that's what that's what's happening now. So we're really excited that he's going to be the, the artist to really launch the Fury in the U.S.